All right, right on. We are backstage at the CMA Awards with Brothers Osborne. Congratulations, some big winners, as you can see. Thank what, you. three total now for the career here? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Now, two years running, vocal duo. Yeah. And then this year, you tacked on the music video of the year. Yeah. For It Ain't My Fault. Exactly. Right on. Uh, and we've, uh, we've always worked really hard on our music videos uh, and hopes that we would at least just get a nomination. And this is the first nomination we've had for the category and obviously a first win. So we're, exci we're excited. We put out a video that was basically a political satire and pissed some people off. Uh, but we thought it was funny and we did it anyway. And here we go. Uh, now, you talk, you talk about pissing some people off with the political satire. You gave a great speech over there on the Winner's Walk about how important it is to speak your mind. You know, you sort of cited some classic uh, country legends like Merle Haggard. Why is that so important to speak your mind in today's day and age of music? I mean, it's not just today's age of music. It's, it's always, you know. I mean, it's, I feel like we're indebted. We're given an opportunity to speak up for the people that don't have a voice, you know. And a lot of people argue, they say, stick to music and, and stay out of politics. It's like, well, no, we have a chance to speak up for the people that don't have a chance. And, you know, that's just what we're here for. This is an amazing opportunity. I mean, we're lucky. We get to come to these award shows. We get to play music. We get to travel the country. Let's try to give back and try to help somebody. Let's 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 try to make this a bigger thing than, than what it is. And... I don't know. We just have an opportunity to stick up for, for the small guy. Yeah, you talk about the small guy. You said something great over here just a little while ago about the forgotten music fan. You know, there's just somebody who wants to go to a Chris Stapleton show, let's say. You gave a big ups to Chris over there, which is really cool. But this forgotten music fan that maybe doesn't want the rah-rah the and the fireworks, they just want a good song, a good singer, some good lyrics. Talk about that and making music for the forgotten music fan. Yeah, well, I mean, that was his growth, which is great. You want to oh, yeah, articulate that? Too. Well, you know, it's just that, you know, I love all styles of music, and there's room for for everybody. But we've kind of um, gotten to the point where we think that we have to hit this one target every time we write a song or every time we record a song, and we go, "It's got to be th this BPM. It has to be this long. It has to be this chord changes." You know, and when you do that, you kind of lose the heart and soul of what music is. Music is purely an expression, and some of the greatest expression in music have been through just singing and, and playing just great songwriting and musicianship, you know? It's like, I love, we love good pop songs, but there's a, we're kind of losing the guitar, you know? And people love the shit out of guitar, and we're trying to do that, Chris is trying to do that, and it shows that there are people that want to hear it. If no one wanted to hear it, Chris Stapleton wouldn't be selling out shows across the country, you know? And it proves that there is a forgotten demographic, there's a forgotten listener out there in music, and they're just hungry. They're hungry for it, and you know, and we're trying to, you know, we're trying to, to help the cause. And and if any other musicians out there, or songwriters are listening, don't be afraid to help because don't be afraid to play, don't be afraid to sing, don't be afraid of all that. Guys, well said. Congratulations on the awards. Thanks, nice it. meeting you guys.